probably free shipping. It don't mean the doll is free. You not about to get no you not you not about to get another baby alive doll, bruh. How did you even get to Walmart.com? Hey y'all! Ellery here, my basic attire. <laughs> So I know normally when I, well not normally, but in the past, my previous Get Ready With Me videos were kind of just like fast forwarded, you know, no talking, no nothing. But I decided to do a little chit chat this time because I'm using a lot of new stuff that I haven't used before. So instead of just fast forwarding through it, I'm gonna kind of be talking about some of the new stuff that I'm using in the tutorial, plus, you know, just life stuff, you know. It's Friday right now as I'm filming. I'm not doing anything exciting. I am just probably going to go to the grocery store because I'm a mom and that's what we do on our Friday night. I don't know if you guys know this. All my moms out there do, but on Friday nights, we uh, go to the grocery store. In my case, I'm going to the Kroger. And uh, we go to um, our local Target or Walmart, pick up some toiletries. And it's back to school time, so I'm probably gonna get school supplies and you know go school shopping at Oshkosh Bagosh. You know, fun stuff, not like party. Like, who does that? Anyways, let's get into this tutorial. I am doing my makeup to run errands because you know I have been caught slipping a couple times. So sometimes you know I put on makeup, and it's gonna be a little extra, but. Oh, I don't care. I'm gonna start off with this primer. I just kind of went through all my drawers and picked like a few things that I have never tried before and um, I'm gonna try them. So this one in particular, it is the Marc Jacobs Invisible Undercover. It's basically a face primer, a perfecting coconut, that's what it says, perfecting coconut face primer. This isn't new, it's not new, but it's new to me, I've never used it before. I have seen my friend Denise, Makeup by Denise, wear this a couple times, so. I decided to give it a go. Doesn't say it's mattifying or anything like that, which I usually like, but I'm just gonna try it and hope that my face doesn't break out in a million rashes. <laughs> I don't eat or like coconut, but I'm not getting a strong coconut vibe, so that's good, that's good. As I do my brows, which I'm gonna do the same exact way, so I'm not really gonna go through them, but it's back to school time for the moms, the kids out there. Earlier today, we went to Yoshi's school and we found out her teacher and we picked up her school supply list and she did not want to go, first of all. Every time I asked her, you ready to go to start school? She's like, nope, don't want to go back. I'd rather be home. So clearly, see what kind of kid I'm dealing with. But as soon as we got there, like she didn't want to leave. She wanted to go everywhere. She wanted to visit every class. Every teacher she's ever met in her life, she wanted to go see them. So after we left, we went to grab something to eat at Chick-fil-A. Not my preference. I normally don't eat at Chick-fil-A. But I'm on this diet now, and they have some um, grilled nuggets. What kind of bomb? So anyways, I don't want to be too chatty fatty, but she's excited now. So now I'm excited because, you know, no mom wants that kid that hates school and it's bad grades because they're not focused. I would obviously love her the same, but don't embarrass me, girl. Don't embarrass me. Do your work, okay? Hopefully, you know, I'll watch this video a couple years from now and she'll be on the big screens. The big screens and the small screens, you know? That's the goal. She wants to be on TV and it's my goal to get her there. Do you guys see this brow? What? It's $30. Somebody needs to go back to school ASAP. You're not getting nothing off of Walmart.com right now. Let me see. Girl, that says ages three and up. What does that mean? Meaning it's for three year olds and up. It doesn't matter. Why are you even looking at that stuff? I said, put it on your Christmas list. We're not buying no toys right now. Oh, uh hi. -huh. No concept of money. My eyebrows are not even sisters right now. They're like second cousins, but I'm, I'm over it. Empty ways. I'm gonna use some brow tamer. I've never used this brow tamer before either. I usually use Anastasia's, but I'm trying 
this pixie brow tamer i think this was a collab package comes with a brow tamer and a lower lash mascara oh yeah this is a collab aspie novard i'm probably saying that wrong but this was a collab oh it's so cute it's like a little travel size Okay, we'll see how that does. To me, the difference between a good brow gel and a bad brow gel is I don't like my brows to be like hella hard or like crunchy after applying it. And some brow gels are like too heavy. So I like them really nice and light. So the next new product I'm going to use, I'm going to use a different foundation, Ermger. I found this Black Radiance Color Perfect Oil Free Liquid Makeup Foundation. This is in the shade Rum Spice. I don't know if it's gonna match or not, but we're gonna give it a go. Comes with a little wand. All right, beauty blender. This scarf, by the way, is the same scarf I wore in my Rihanna Wild Thoughts video. It's from Rap Queens, and it really comes in handy during this transition process I'm going through. You guys don't know, I am, I have been growing out my perm for the past like eight months and I've almost relapsed like twice. I've had a perm ever since I was in like the fifth grade. So I don't even know what my natural hair looks like. And the process has been very difficult. I'm used to them slick edges and not having to worry about humidity. I live in Atlanta, so we do have a lot of humidity. And oh my gosh, this dries pretty fast. It's just been difficult to transition for me. So I'm halfway there. I just cut off like an inch of my hair yesterday and about two more inches to cut off. I'll be like fully natural. Okay, this foundation, it's pretty nice. Like it dries pretty fast, so you kind of gotta work it in fast because it dried in certain spots. I'm actually gonna add a little bit more. I thought it was gonna be a tad too light, but I like it, I like it. Of course, I have to wear it throughout the day to really know, but it looks pretty good so far. Yes, I love when I can find a new foundation because I don't like experimenting too much with foundations. I don't, honestly, truly. All right, so we'll see how this holds up, but for now, like, I like it. But, you know, it's too soon to tell. So next, I'm gonna try one of the new ColourPop concealers. Just got these or opened these the other day. I don't know which shade I'm gonna use. I just grabbed some of the darker ones because I kind of want a more natural highlight today. Looks like this one is too natural, which is rich tan. It's probably gonna be too close to my skin. And this is deep golden. Oh, this is nice, this is nice. So I'm gonna try deep golden to highlight one area at a time because we don't want it to dry these are six dollars so if these work baby so this shade is really natural well according to like my standards it is more of a natural highlight for me because you know i can go about three shades lighter is like dramatic for me. It's not very thick, which doesn't really mean anything because Max Pro Longwear is not thick at all and it doesn't budge. So I'm kind of liking the wand concealers too because I'm used to just like pumping it on my beauty blender. But the wand is kind of more convenient. Let me tell you, if ColourPop came up on a $6 concealer that's bomb, they're going to be unstoppable because it's a conspiracy. So now I'm gonna set this with my Sasha Buttercup powder. Y'all better not be sleeping on ColourPop. I've had people be like, well, some of their lippies crack, but that's what all brands to me, like, when it comes to like matte lipsticks and stuff and cracking, it all depends on the color. Like I've had, I've used brands that had my favorite matte liquid lipsticks, but they've had certain colors that crack. Like it all depends on their formula and it's hard to perfect the darker colors when it comes to cracking. So just because you bought one shade from a brand and the lipstick may have cracked or peeled, it doesn't mean all of them do that. Like you gotta kind of trial and error. 
I can't believe this concealer is $6. Like, unless it cracks on me and I get creasing, I'll get it. But if this concealer does not crease on me, ColourPop might be with Illuminati. I'm just playing. I didn't say that. But I'm serious, like, they out here snatching wigs. All right, well, since that works so well, I'm gonna try to contour with this darker shade. This is Rich 75. If you blend out your contour with a beauty blender and it's a cream or a liquid, make sure your beauty blender is not hella wet. If it's hella wet, you're gonna be splotchy. I've done it several times and been hella irritated. Mommy. Yes. What? Girl, you learned the numbers in the alphabet in daycare. How about because you know how to read? You've been on your numbers and your letters. Stop calling me girl. So you guys, while I'm doing this, I have a question that I would appreciate you guys to help me out with in the comments. So I wanna do different videos, not just makeup videos. Like I wanna do more vlogs. I wanna do more like fun lifestyle stuff. But I feel like whenever I post videos that are like different from makeup tutorials, I don't get as much viewage. So to me that translates as you guys don't really wanna see that. So if you guys don't really want to see vlogs on my channel or you'd rather me post it on a separate vlog channel, like, I just really want you guys' feedback because I don't want to do makeup tutorials forever or all the time. Like, I want to do different stuff. Just let me know in the comments, like, if you think I should do a separate vlog channel or if you'd rather this channel just be strictly makeup or if you don't mind me like integrating different stuff in there, I just wanna get some feedback because I've been thinking about it a lot lately and I don't wanna, I don't wanna lose you guys, but I do definitely wanna try some different things. So I'd appreciate you guys letting me know how I should go about it without losing y'all. All right, so I have my highlight and my contour slightly blended in. I'm gonna use like this soft, contour brush to kind of go over my contour because I feel like I don't know what I feel like first of all I feel like my forehead isn't blended and I need to kind of set everything so I'm gonna set it with my covergirl queen collection ebony bronzer just a little like obviously not too much all right now I'm gonna try a new highlighter and brush First of all, you said you didn't even want the sandwich. Oh, I like well, you need to find a better way to ask because forget that video. I'm putting my sandwich in the microwave. Ain't gonna cut it. In a minute. I'm gonna try a new blush and highlighter. I mean, they're not new. When I say new, it's just new to me. Found these two in my drawer. This blush is called Peach Bouquet from Jouer and this highlighter is called Tan Lines and I love the Tan Lines lippy so I'm assuming this is gonna be just as great. Put on the highlighter first. Okay, okay. So I like it. I didn't think there'd be enough glow for me but it actually is pretty glowy. Uh, I wish and I don't know if Jouer has one that has more, but I just wish I had a little bit more gold in it. But this is like, I think my first or second highlighter that I've used from Jouer. So they might have one that is a little bit more warm and golden. I love a golden highlight. So this to me is like, it's popping, but if it had a little bit more gold and more like reflects and stuff, it'd be even more popping, you know what I mean? Now I'm gonna try this blush just a little bit. I always overdo my blush. Oh my gosh, like everything that I've used so far has been like, it's a yes for me. Like so far, I may have only had it on for like five minutes, but like my first impression so far is that I've been sleeping. Wake up! All right, next is the eyes. For the eyes, I'm not gonna like, I know this is supposed to be get ready with me chit chat and I usually just do the whole spiel, 
but I really want to see if the eye look that I'm going to try out is going to work for me because I have like something kind of different in mind what's new but I'm using this palette subculture and to be perfectly honest when I first saw it on Instagram like my first impression from seeing it like in a picture I wasn't like oh yeah I gotta get that it's bomb like I don't know if it was just like the pictures that I saw that were just like okay, but it wasn't like, oh, I can't wait till I get that. But when I opened it, in real life, in real life, in real life, it's beautiful. Like I love greens and forest greens and then they have like this, this, this copper gold shimmer shade and this like almost looking monochrome looking green. I mean, there's only two shimmer shades in it. Well, three if you include Cube, which I probably won't use. But the two shimmer shades that are in it, you can still do multiple looks based on like all these bomb matte shades. I haven't even swatched anything. So I'm just saying like how it looks, it looks like it, looks like it has great potential. So I'm gonna try something out on this eye and hopefully it turns out with what I'm picturing in my mind and then I'm gonna show y'all how to do it. Okay, so this turned out a little bit more dramatic than I planned on, but I'm gonna go with it. I'm hoping like when I have my hair done and like my lip and all that, like I'm gonna like it more. Right now, it's like very Egyptian Nefertiti, which is beautiful, but like I told you, I'm just going to the grocery store. I didn't plan on going this overboard, but we're gonna keep it going. Yes. I'll do it later. I'm just saying, girl. You say mommy like every five minutes. Oh my gosh. What do you want now? What? Your dollar? You just literally turned the vacuum off and you already want to get paid. Don't go in my purse. I'll get you your dollar. You act like I'm going nowhere. Stay out of my purse, cause I, no, stay out of my purse. Cause I know she's gonna take more than one dollar. If I let her go in my purse. I'm getting five dollars. You're not gonna get five nothing. Stay out of my purse. If you've never used any of Anastasia's palettes, they're pretty powdery, like the eyeshadows, especially the mattes. I don't know how else to describe them than powdery, meaning like you're gonna get fallout. You just have to be cautious if you use them and you've already done your face, because you'll get more fallout with these shadows you do but they're very pigmented as well. So it's kind of like, you know, bittersweet. I started with Dawn, which is a little too light for me, but I thought Fudge was gonna start off too dark. So I'm just gonna do it the same exact way, even though I don't feel like I should have started that way with the other eye. And then I use the same brush to dip into New Wave. This small blending brush by Morphe M508. And then I dipped it into X Axis. And then I carved out my crease. Then I grabbed my Morphe Small Table Blending Brush, dipped it in that same color, and blending this in on and above that line I created. This lighter matte green right here. And I went like right on top of that same color. So this was the point where I was like, wait, no, that's that's not blending. Like, what am I gonna do? So I had to lighten it up. The plan was Operation Lightning because it's too dark. You know, you're not blending. So that's when I grabbed the brush that was in the compact because it didn't have anything on it and it's kind of small blur than my other blending brushes. So I just kind of like smudged over that transition to like lighten it up. And then I grabbed that brush that I used with the orange and kind of blended it out right here. I can tell it's not symmetrical, but we're gonna fix that later. Later. And I used Benefits Don't Stray and I put, and I put some on the back of my hand because I'm gonna like carve out my lid crease area. So I'm putting it on, it doesn't have to be the Dose of Color brush, but it's a flat synthetic brush. So for the eyeshadow on the lid, I used Adorn 
this nice golden coppery shade right here. I'm gonna leave a little space in the crease so that I can apply my glitter. So I'm going like right below that perfect line that I made. All right, now I'm gonna apply the Eye Jewels glitter side of the liner. And I'm just gonna follow that little thin space that I've created between the lid color and the crease color. Matte Black Jouer Slim Cream Liner. Ooh, did I just hear last click? Press it. And I use this pencil brush from Dust of Colors. And first I dipped it into Rowdy, this color over here. And then I dipped it into All Star. And then with this pencil brush by e.l.f. I put that same tan lines highlighter in the inner corners. Dust away some of that fallout. So I know if y'all on Instagram, y'all been noticing that they've been hating with that new algorithm. Like, it is so difficult to grow when you're not even just new, new or old. Like, but I feel like unless I'm giving away a Porsche Camarera in a giveaway, like it's hard to get followers now. So this is just my little splurt ranch drink. Splurt ranch. I'm thinking of chicken wings. Rant to tell y'all if you guys are new on Instagram or even if you're not new on Instagram, you're just not growing, you're not the only one. So for me, I had to get out of my head and just be like, listen, keep working hard. You know, it doesn't matter if you're not growing as much as the next person. Don't focus on what everybody else is doing. If you stay determined and on your goal and focus, you never know when you'll get that huge surge. So I'm trying not to let that discourage me. Don't let that discourage you. I'm gonna do giveaways regardless, but I feel like I would appreciate more or of an organic following anyway than just people who are following me for a giveaway. So I'm gonna do giveaways for my followers regardless, but I don't want me doing giveaways to be the only way that I get followers because I want an organic following. People that follow me because you know, they think what I'm doing is the shit. So just keep going. Don't give up, you know. It's a tough world out there in the social media world, but quitters never make it to the top, okay? Don't be a quitter. Don't give up. Especially if you're passionate about what you do. Moving back onto the tutorial on this eye, I attempted to use the lower lash mascara in that same little pixie set, but I feel like this mascara is more catered to people with like really tiny lower lashes because it didn't really give me the fullness or volume that I needed. I think if you have really small, fine lashes, this is perfect because the wand is like so inky. But I had to end up switching because it wasn't making them dark and black enough like I wanted them. So I switched to light camera lashes. Give me that length and volume that I needed. Now I'm adding my falsies. I'll have to add the name right here because I can't think of exactly what brand and name these are, but I know I used these on a pre previous tutorial. And I always use House of Lashes Lash Glue. So yeah, like a normal person would do a simple lip. I'm not going to. I want to do purple because why not? I haven't used these two colors before. I have used this brand, but not these two colors. This darker purple is called Devious, and this other one's called OMG. They're all awesome mattes. They're both by Bare Minerals. I want to tell you a difference real quick because people always ask me, what's the best matte liquid lipstick that I like? And I don't feel like that has an answer because it just depends on the mood. For instance, there's times I'm in a mood where I want a really dry, non-transfer, stay in its place, don't move type of mat. Like I have those days where, and that mat is completely different from these mats. And that matters because matte lipsticks are different. You have true mats, you have hydra mats, you have velvet mats, you have like, uh, there's something else with like a smidge under mat where it's like, it's not like matte matte. Anyways, you have different types of mattes, and people don't realize that, that there's different formulas when it comes to matte lipsticks. Not only are there different formulas, but even with the, like, matte matte lipsticks, 
It depends on the color. So it just depends on the type of mood you're in. So like I said, for me, there's times where I'm in a matte, matte mood, and there's also times where I want like a hydra matte or a velvet matte, where I am gonna get a little bit of transfer, but when I eat, when I reapply, I don't have to wipe everything off. Because with matte mats, if you eat and you're talking throughout the day, and you're just like having nine hour days, you're gonna have to take all of it off and reapply it. Otherwise, it's gonna peel and be cracky. Nobody likes lip crack, so. And I'll put these bare mineral lippies in that category where they have a little bit of transfer, but they're a little bit more moisturizing and they're not gonna dry your lips out as much as a true matte matte lipstick will. So, I'm in that type of mood where I don't want dry lips. I just exfoliated my lips yesterday and I wanna keep them nice and cool off. So I'm going to use these. And I'm gonna apply Devious first because I'm not sure if I'm gonna use the other one just yet, but see my stomach is growling as we speak. I know I'm about to eat. So if I was about to eat and I had on a matte matte lipstick, I'd have that like ring around my lips. The ring around your lips. Even though you can touch up with the matte matte like a little bit in that ring, like after a while you can't, you have to just start over. You know what, I was gonna put that lighter pink shade on, but I kinda like this color by itself, so. I'm done with the look, aside from some setting spray that I don't see right here, so I'll have to do that in a minute, but I'm gonna take off my scarf. But all I'm pretty much gonna do is put like a sweater over my tank top so I can keep my waist trainer on. I have some workout leggings on, even though I don't work out. But let me tell y'all a little hookup real quick before I leave you. If you have like a smaller frame and you're looking for some workout clothes and you don't like to spend money on workout clothes, like me, go to like Old Navy and go to, they have like a whole workout section. I don't know if it's called workout section, but the place where they sell like the workout clothes. Go to the kids section and get like an extra large and it fits adults. Like I got these pants, like some tops, whole bunch of stuff in the kids section in extra large and it's half the price of adults so i just saved some of y'all some money anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me chit chat hope i didn't talk you to death but make sure you guys give me a thumbs up and subscribe let me know if you want to see more of these chit chats or if you just want me to not chat and just fast forward like my normal get ready with me videos have been just let me know in the comments i'm open to suggestions uh, other than that, until next time, love you guys. Mwah.